Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today is day, let me see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day six of the bundle, which occurs for only 10 days. The bundle is a compilation of ebooks, courses, and programs by many wonderful, actually over 200 plant-based contributors with over 3,000 recipes that if you bought each product separately would cost you $8,600. But for this 10-day period, you can get it for literally a steal, $50. And I have one of the bundle contributors today, Coach Sandra Cotto, who's going to be making a recipe from her offering in the bundle, which is a vegan pizza that is also grain-free and gluten-free. Please welcome her to the show. That's nice to see you again. I, I know you from a long time ago. Yes, thank you. Hello, everybody. And thank you so much for having me on your show. It has been four years uh, since we have been uh, together here. You were a guest on a 21 day summit that I did four years ago about uh, plant based eating and you so graciously accepted to be one of my speakers. And here we are four years later connecting again. So it's so good to see you. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'm so happy you're in the bundle. Tell us about what you're offering to the bundle is. Yes. So I'm super excited. This is my first time actually being in the bundle. And I have a book that's called Get Sexy on Plants After 40, 50 and Beyond. And it's your 21 day kickstart guide to being more plant based to look and feel sexy. And so the book has got quite a bit of different things in there. Um, everything to help you get started on this plant based journey. Um, from recipes to uh, basic meditation, even some basic workouts, how to deal with cravings, um, 21 tips that each day will help you get further in your journey. So it's kind of like a, a nice little package uh, where you, you know, for the woman who is really looking to up level her life, you know, have a healthier, wealthier life through a plant based um, you know, lifestyle and feel great in her skin at whatever age she's at, specifically in 40s and in their 50s, because I'm in my 50s. My journey began in my 40s. It's been a, a 10 year journey. Um, and uh, so I wanted to really create a book that women would have something as a tool to get started on this lifestyle and really see how how they feel, uh, how they feel in the lifestyle. So it's, it's a beginner book, kick, a kick, 21 day kickstart. Nice. Got the recipes too, which, so the recipe that we're doing tonight, which is the grain-free, gluten-free, vegan pizza is in my ebook. And I chose this recipe because number one, it is my all-time recipe that even the meat eaters love. And so um, when I went vegan eight years ago, I love pizza. I'm originally from New York. I've always eaten pizza. And I thought, how am I going to eat pizza without my cheese? <laughs> So I was on a quest to really come up with a recipe that I love that was also gluten-free, that was healthy, and that tastes great too. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today is sharing with you this delicious pizza. And really the key, or I should say the, the secret uh, magic is really in the crust because we're going to make the crust from scratch. It's very flavorful, has lots of spices, and then we're going to put all kinds of really delicious plant-based toppings on it. And it's, it's delicious. Everybody loves it when I make it. And all of my challengers who um, take my 21 day challenge, they say that this is their favorite recipe out of all of the recipes that I provide. So. Oh, I can't That's wait. Good. Everybody loves pizza. I'd love to hear if you have time either now or while you're cooking or after yes. you've cooked, uh, you said your journey started 10 years ago. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. So, you know, really my journey started 10 years ago at the end of my 21 year marriage. I had ended my marriage and I was like, where, what do I do now? Like I kind of found myself in a, in a place where I was like, okay, it's time to recreate myself. I had been living my life for, you know, my family, for my now ex-husband taking care of everybody else and not really taking care of myself. And so I really just started on a quest of finding myself through physical fitness. And through that, a friend of mine had said to me, hey, you know, I'm doing a 21 day raw vegan cleanse. I want to do a spring cleaning for my body. And I want to know if you want to join me. And I was like, whoa, a spring cleaning for, the, for your body. I said, I really like the sound of that. 
Um, and so we went to find out about it. And um, one of the things that really led me to do this challenge is because I had been on four medications for 20 years for my asthma and my allergies. And when I went to find out about this program, um, the lady who was conducting it said, you know what, I really think this will help with your allergies and asthma. Uh, give it a shot. So I did the 21 days. I love a challenge. So I did the 21 day challenge. It was completely raw. So it was, you know, of course, no animal products at all, no dairy, no eggs. Um, no nuts, no seeds, no caffeine, no alcohol, no grains, nothing. It was just completely raw greens uh, and fruits. And uh, so I did the 21 days. And at the end of the 21 days, I felt fabulous. I had lost 12 pounds. My skin was glowing. I had energy. And it was the first time in a long time that I was able to really smell and taste my food because the inflammation had come down. Now, throughout the 20 years that I was on the medications, I was on steroids, I was on inhalers, I had two sinus surgeries, I had tubes put in my ears, I was getting shots on a daily basis, I mean, on a weekly basis, allergy shots on a weekly basis to help with all the, you know, everything that I was dealing with. And even with all of that, I was still feeling not very well with, you know, even with the medications. And so after I did that challenge, I said, you know what? I feel so good that I don't want to, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to feeling, um, you know, the way I was feeling before. I was feeling so good. And I thought if 21 days, if I felt this good just after 21 days, I could only imagine how I'm going to feel over a period of time. So from that point on, I said, you know what? I'm going to continue to be vegan. I did for a short period of time, um, have a little bit of fish whenever I went out because I really, I had no intention of going plant-based. I had, um, didn't know anything about what a vegan was or what that entailed. And so I thought, well, let me eat a little bit of fish um, until I, um, you know, can see what it's like being social. Cause I didn't know what it'd be like, you know, going in social events or going out to eat. Um, and so I ate fish for a little bit, watched the documentary Cowspiracy about three months after I finished the 21 day cleanse. And I walked out of the theater saying, that's it. I'm done with fish. I'm not going to have any fish. I'm vegan from here on. And, and from that point on, I just continued on this lifestyle. And over a period of time, I was able to uh, wean myself off of these four daily medications that I was on for 20 years. So that right there for me was so much proof uh, in the power of plants and using food as medicine that I said, this is enough evidence for me to not go back to that way of living. Wow, that's fantastic getting off medications. Uh, Serenity says she's in her 50s. Wow, me too. However, after looking at her, I'm never leaving the house again. <laughs> oh, very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Chef AJ, I really feel it. And, and maybe you agree too. And a lot of people agree with this lifestyle. I felt like I've been reversing an age a little bit, like my skin is glowing more. When I look back at some of the photos um, of myself, you know, a few years back, you know, before I went vegan, you know, I can see it in my eyes. I can see it in my skin. Um, there wasn't that vibrancy there. And going through this journey, not only changing my diet, but when I changed my diet, it also just elevated every other area of my life. And so, like I told you, I, I was at the end of my marriage. I thought, what am I going to do? Sandra didn't have any dreams and aspirations for herself because I was taking care of everybody else. And it was time for me to really dig deep and figure out what is it that I want to do with my life? Because I kind of felt like I was living for everybody else. I didn't have a voice. I kind of conformed uh, to everybody else and whatever, you know, my husband at the time uh, felt was best for the family. And it really gave me this, you know, power that I was like, you know what, I get to recreate my life. And I started, you know, I had always been a runner for, for quite some time, but I started just really trying different things and challenging myself, doing triathlons and kickboxing and, um, you know, doing uh, half marathons and, and just doing all these things to really 
test out and see, you know, what are, what what am I really made of? What do I what do I love and what do I want to do and take my health back? And then I started doing yoga and meditation and just, you know, through eating really clean, my my mindset changed. I saw the world differently and I saw more for myself. And then that's when, you know, I'm still in corporate America today. I have my plant-based coaching um, as my side gig, which the goal is to leave corporate and do this full-time because this is what I have a passion for. Um, and um, it has been just an amazing journey these last 10 years that, you know, people that know me for a while, they've seen the transformation um, through this plant-based journey. And just as you, you know, continue to go on your journey, you just tend to evolve and you grow, you know, even more. Wow. That's a great story. Uh, so Sherry says, what are you putting in the bowls? Okay. So first we, we, we preheated the oven to 425 in the bowl here in the first bowl, I have two tablespoons of chia seeds with, uh, I think it was two thirds cup of water and also some plant-based milk. I have some organic uh, oat milk and we're gonna let this kind of soak. This is gonna be like our egg replacement for the pizza, for our crust that we're making. So I'm just gonna let that sit and let the chia seeds get plump. Then in the big bowl here, I've got uh, two cups of almond flour. I got three quarter cups of arrowroot flour. So this is a grain-free, gluten-free crust that we're making from scratch. It is super, super delicious. Um, so almond flour, arrowroot, and some baking powder. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in some spices. So I've just put in some Celtic sea salt. I've got um, organic basil. This is this is what makes the, the crust taste really good is all of these spices. I've got some parsley, and we're putting in a half a teaspoon of each one of these dried herbs. And then, so we have our wet ingredients separate and then our dry ingredients in this bowl here. And hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, and so um, my story, you know, I continue to keep challenging myself that even um, for my 50th birthday, almost three years ago, I said, you know what, I want to really challenge myself and do something different. I want to be in the best shape of my life. And I challenged myself to um, go ahead and uh, in, go ahead and enroll in a um, bikini competition at the age of 51. Well, I wanted to do it for my 50th birthday, but COVID hit and had different plans for us. Everything was canceled. <laughs> and uh, I continued to train and it, we had to do it on the following year. Uh, but that was a huge challenge for me to um, you know, take some time and really I hired a coach and I, um, make sure I've got everything here, hired a coach to help me train so that I can get on stage and do something that I was really fearful of. Um, you know, when I think about, you know, back in the day before I went plant-based, I was not someone who was confident in my own skin. I didn't love the curves that I came with. I used to wear baggy clothes because I didn't feel good in my own skin. And this doing this challenge, this bikini competition was something that was like a huge challenge for me that I almost backed out and said, I think I'm not ready. I think I need to wait. And of course I had an amazing coach who said, you know what, Sandra, you're doing this for you. This is a goal that you set for yourself. It, Cause I was having all of these, you know, um, thoughts like how can I get on stage, you know, with these women who are in their twenties and in their thirties that look fabulous, you know, I'm here 51 years old getting on stage and, you know, it's having all of these emotional breakdowns to be quite honest with you. And thank God for my coach. Cause he, we had a long conversation and he said, you know what, Sandra, you get to do this for you. This is a goal that you set for yourself. I wasn't up there to get a first place prize. Uh, I wasn't up there competing against the girl next to me. I was competing, you know, for myself to have the courage um, something that I would never have thought I would do uh, 10 years ago, the person that I was before, um, you know, I, when I was married, I was a completely different person in terms of, like I said, not feeling comfortable in my own skin. And so ended up doing the competition and just 
it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I went, I just went with it. And I felt really proud because it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of work, dedication when you're actually doing a bikini competition and having to um, really dial, dial in your, 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 your diet and your exercise. And so it's been an amazing journey. And I really want to empower the woman who's in her 40s and 50s that you can make a change in your life at any time and that it's your journey and you get to be the best you that you can be at whatever stage and to love the skin that you're in. I know sometimes it can be uh, challenging. We look at our flaw, uh, the flaws that we have instead of looking at what do we love about ourselves? What do we bring to the world? So I am just all about, you know, being able to empower and inspire other women at this stage in their life. And all through foods, you know, it's the foundation. I feel that, um, you know, a plant-based diet, the food that we choose to nourish our body with is the foundation. And then of course, you know, we have everything else that goes along with that, right? Exercise, sleep. Okay. We are going to let this soak up a couple more seconds. And we're going to add the liquid and the uh, dry together. Now, this crust is not like your typical soft crust that people are used to when they have pizza because it is not made with a flour or gluten, right? It's gluten-free. So it's going to be actually kind of um, like a, a crispy crust and a little bit thin. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our liquid and we're going to put all this and mix it together. And it's going to be a little bit of like a, a, a little bit of a runny consistency. It's not going to be like a real thick batter. Like some people may be used to when you're using a flour because this is almond flour and arrowroot flour. And so once we mix all this together, I like to use a baking stone. Uh, I have two baking stones from Pampered Chef that are amazing that I've had for years. Um, and I use a piece of parchment paper. You definitely want to have parchment paper because uh, it'll be a lot easier to take the crust off of the um, baking stone when you put it on the parchment paper. Okay. So I just want to show you so you can see this consistency, right? It, it's kind of a little bit of like a runny consistency and that's okay. That's what it should look like. So we are going to put this on. So here I have my Pampered Chef baking stone along with some parchment paper. And now what we're going to do is we're going to spread this out. Oops, do it a little bit at a time. And we're going to spread our batter. And you want to kind of make sure that it's even. Because sometimes if you don't spread it evenly, you may have a couple little like little holes in there uh, in the batter. We're going to spread this out all over the stone. Pizza was one dish that I thought, how can I, how can I live without it? And now with this recipe, because I try to stay away as much as I can from gluten. Um, you know, I'm not 100% gluten free, but I, if I can choose, I, I choose to, you know, be without it. Although there are sometimes I have had it in the past. Um, but when I eat this pizza, I don't feel guilty. It's healthy. Um, it's tasty. And like I said, the, all of the, my meat eating friends and family members love this, love this recipe. Okay. So now that we've got that spread out, then you're going to put this in your oven at 425 and, you know, each ovens vary. So, um, it could be 20 minutes. It could be 30 minutes, depending. Oh, I just realized I didn't put the uh, mushrooms in. Let's put our mushrooms in. I'm gonna put, I have some mushrooms that I like to saute with fresh garlic to put on the pizza as well. Let me get those in there just to saute them a little bit. Do you do that before or after you bake the crust? 
No, I'm going to bake the crust first. And uh, I already have one crust that's been done and ready to go. So I'll show you uh, in a moment here. Let's get this in here. I was I was just talking up a storm. I, I forgot we got to saute. We got to saute the mushrooms. <laughs> So I like to saute with a little bit of fresh garlic. Um, I've got, these are baby bellas. And then sometimes I'll also put a little bit of coconut aminos in there uh, just to give it a little bit of flavor. I don't add anything else and just let that saute. And then we'll have to bake our crust. I'm gonna let that sizzle here for a moment. We're going to go ahead now and put the crust in the oven. So let me just, the oven is all ready to go at 420. Oh, I don't need these yet. At 425. We're going to put that on the bottom. And then you might want to put on your timer on your phone for 25 minutes. See what it looks like. I like to have mine a little bit, a little extra crispy on, around the edges. Okay, so here is the finished. So ta-da! This, this, this is the finished product. <laughs> and, and it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick so, to the stone. Well, I had parchment paper on this one as well. Oh. But what I do when I finish baking it, I take the parchment paper off and I like to have it directly on the stone. And then that's when I'll put. So I just want to show you. Okay, so this is what the crust is like. Wow. Okay. It's like this, this very thin crust and it's going to be crunchy. So you want to, and I like to, you could do it a little bit more well done if you want the edges a little bit crispier, but it's going to go back in the oven again. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay. It's not going to be like your soft flour pizza that you're used to. Um, but I, I personally like a thin crust because then I feel like I can, I can eat more of the pizza and not feel so guilty. <laughs> you know, when you have a thick crust, it's what gets you full and you're like, I can't eat anymore. Um, but this is a guilt-free, guilt-free guys, because it's almond flour and arrowroot flour. Okay, so now that we've got that, let me just double check, make sure we don't we don't let our mushrooms burn. We'll put that on medium heat. And Mona wants to know what do you do to get those arms? Oh my goodness! Yes, I work out. I try to work out, you know, four to five days a week. Although I have to say, I broke my toe three weeks ago, my right big toe, and I haven't really been able to work out as much. I dropped the glass shelf on the toe, oh. broke the bone, shattered the bone. As a matter of fact, I just went today for my X-ray, my second X-ray, and Doc says, you know what? You're doing really great. It's healing nicely. Um, you can start to wear your sneakers. You can start because I'm like, can I start running yet? I have a half marathon that I'm doing in January. It's actually my 20th consecutive Miami half marathon. And I'm thinking it's going to be my last half marathon, although I've done over like 35 half marathons. But yes, I do lift weights. I do. I like to lift in the gym uh, several days a week, but I feel like I haven't really I, I haven't done much lately because of my toe. But I'll be back. I'll be back soon. And I wanted to tell the doctor, you know, my toe is doing great because I live a plant-based lifestyle. I eat clean, I get my sleep, and that's, you know, the recovery I knew was going to be a positive one. How could it not be? Okay, so you can either make your own homemade sauce, or you can use, my favorite is Rayo's. I don't know if you've ever tried Rayo's. I love Rayo's because it's automatically vegan. The, the ingredients is everything that you can pronounce. There's no preservatives. There's no added sugars. It's just Italian whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, oregano, and that's it. Real food. So this is my favorite, favorite sauce that I use. Uh, this one just happens to be the marinara. And where is my spoon? Oh, here it is. This is the marinara and they have all, all types of flavors. Um, and so you put a little bit on, we're going to put some on our crust and just kind of spread this out. Make sure you guys can see. It looks like a real pizzeria. Pizzeria, that's amore. Yeah, I, I love, I love pizza. It's like one of my favorites. Hey, and so question from Dewana. And okay. she said, well, what about those that are those of us in our 60s and above? Can we still do that and look like you? Absolutely. You know, 
we're always a decision away from making a change, right? And it's one of the things that, you know, I teach a lot of my clients, you know, is really to get connected to your why, right? Why is it that you want to do something? Why is it important to you? How do you want to feel? And it's really about taking the first step, right? And not expecting to see results overnight because we are in, you know, this immediate gratification, right? And a lot of the things that we do, and this is why diets don't work, right? Diets have a beginning and an end when you, and this is what I have felt, living a plant-based lifestyle has, you know, been one of the best things because I don't ever feel, I've done the yo-yo dieting years ago, right? And then you end up either adding more weight on. I felt that being on a plant-based lifestyle, I can eat whatever I want and not have to worry about counting calories, that I'm going to gain all this weight. When you focus on eating whole foods and eating the rainbow, there's no need to be dieting and worrying about um, you know, gaining the weight, um, as long as you're eating, you know, wholesome foods, you're, you're moving your body, you're getting in movement, but yes, you can do it one step at a time, one workout at a time. All right. So we've got our sauce on here and we are going to add our mushrooms. Okay, so we've sauteed our mushrooms. It's really hot. I I personally just like to saute my mushrooms uh, versus putting them on there raw. So I like to have it with a little bit of garlic. Sometimes I'll add maybe a little bit of onions, but today I'm just gonna do just the garlic and the baby bellas with a little bit of coconut aminos. And then now, you know, you can still enjoy a vegan pizza uh, without the cheese. I've done that many a times. I've even done semi-raw, right? I have a raw marinara sauce that I do as well, a sun-dried raw marinara sauce that's really good on this that you don't even need to um, put cheese on. Uh, you know, when you have fresh veggies um, and when you put love into what you're doing, and, and this is what I always encourage, you know, my, my clients and the people who take my challenge and they're in the kitchen experimenting with new recipes. Number one, take a recipe and use it as a guide. Number two, make it your own, right? Cook intuitively, cook, you know, um, listening to what you think would be good and delicious for you, right? And that the energy that you put into your food is, is how uh, your food is gonna taste, right? So if you're happy, you're in a good mood, you're putting good energy, your food is gonna taste good. When you come home and maybe you're rushing or you're not in a very good mood and you're trying to put things together, it's gonna show up in your food as well. So we've got our sauteed mushrooms on there. And then what I'm gonna use today um, for my cheese is the Miyoko's. This is the new uh, liquid vegan pizza mozzarella. Have you tried this one, Chef AJ? I have not even seen that one. Oh my goodness. So I used to use her, um, she actually has like a mozzarella wheel, you know, kind of like the, like the Buffalo type mozzarella that I've used in the past, which is very good too. But this one is made specifically for the pizza. It is a vegan pizza mozzarella and it actually pours on to the pizza. And when you cook it, 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 you think it's like mozzarella when you take it out, it's very light and it's really, really nice. But before I do that, I like to put um, some red onions. So I'm gonna put a, some red onions and I kind of pre-cut everything just for the essence of time. Um, I love red onions or you can use white onions or you can do no onions, right? Depending on what you like. And you can just dress that up. And I went ahead and I have some fresh organic broccoli. Actually, I put it in the air fryer for just a couple of minutes just to get it a little bit cooked. And I'm gonna add that to my pizza as well because I love color. Um, broccoli is so delicious, great cruciferous vegetable, um, good for you. Wait, this is interesting because I always thought toppings went over cheese, but you're putting toppings first. I'm going to put my toppings first and then I'm going to put my cheese. And then sometimes I'll even add a little bit more cheese. So what we're going to do, we've got our toppings. Then my fresh toppings don't go on until after. So I'll do like my mushrooms, my onions, 
and I've got uh, broccoli here today, but the other toppings that I have, so I have some cherry tomatoes. I have some uh, fresh basil from my basil plant outside. I've got some clover sprouts. I have some microgreens, broccoli microgreens, and I have some fresh organic arugula because I love to add greens as much as I can to all my meals. And we even have some avocado that we're gonna top it, but that's going to be after uh, we cook it in the oven. So then I'm just gonna show you, so you guys can see this, you just kind of pour it. You pour it all along your pizza here. And I do mine kind of like in a little spiral here. You can put as much or as little as you like. I just like to kind of put a little bit around. I've never seen that product. Yes. Let me, I'm going to show it to you again. This is by Miyoko's Creamery. Just so everybody can get a look at that. It's wow. a vegan pizza mozzarella. Yes. Right. And so look at how beautiful that looks already. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this back in the oven. We're going to put it on the top rack. How does she come up with all these products? That's incredible. It's amazing. It really is amazing. And what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to put this, we're going to put it on broil. So we can get the top, you know, a little bit melted and that cheese, you'll see what the cheese looks like. It'll be nice and melted. Um, let me take it out and then we'll dress it. We'll dress it with all the fresh ingredients. And it's kind of like a salad on top of your, <laughs> on top of your uh, pizza, but it is super, super delicious. Is there any other questions anybody has? Well, I, I was curious, what, what is a bikini competition? Is it like, I mean, like, where do you go for this? And how many people? And is it uh, different age groups? I, I'm telling like, do people, yes. do people watch yes. it on TV? Like, I'd love to know more about it. Yeah, so the uh, bodybuilding, it's like a bodybuilding bikini competition. There's different categories. There's bikini, there's wellness. Um, and yes, there are different age groups uh, within each competition. And, and it depends on how many people are actually in the competition will be 35 plus, sometimes it'll be 45 plus. Um, the show, the very first show that I did, it was, um, this is not a good one. It was a very small show keep an eye on that. It was a small show. Um, so it was only 35 plus. So anybody who was over 35 would be in that category. And so with the bikini competition, it's, it's not so much like a, it's a, it's considered a bodybuilding, but it's not like you have to be super muscular, but they want to see, um, you know, the, um, the definition, right. Definition in your arms and your legs. Um, where wellness is usually for the women who are bigger on the bottom, have more curve and have more muscle. Um, but you still, it's a lot of um, dedication, just like a bodybuilder, you know, working out six days a week, getting your gallon of water in, eating the proper amount of macros, um, you know, based on what your coach advises you and where, you know, where you need to be and how much muscle you need to gain. And so it's, it's really, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for bodybuilders because it is like a job in itself, quite honestly, you have to really track everything that you do. And it takes time to build muscle. I really only gave myself six months to do it. Um, mind you, I was supposed to do it at my 50th birthday. I only gave myself six months to train and then COVID hit. COVID hit, they canceled everything. And then guess what? I gained 25 pounds during COVID. I put on the, the COVID 25, right? I was watching Netflix, taking a break and I put on 25 pounds. And then in January of 2021, my coach says, all right, Sandra, uh, competition is a go for June. Are you ready? I'm like, what? I put on 25 pounds. I'm like, how am I going to be ready for this competition from you know the end of January to um, it was in June. And so I really was like, should I do this? You know, I, I don't know if I can do this. Anyway, as you know, I ended up doing it and I just worked really hard. I lost the 25 pounds um, and uh, I got on stage and I did it. And definitely you want to give yourself more time to do that. Like I said, it really does take time to build muscle, getting in the gym, being consistent. It's all about consistency. 
um, and um, being committed and dedicated to to your workout. But it's a lot of fun that, you know, the glamour part of it, right? You have to buy the bikini and, you know, it's got all the all the rhinestones on it. You get your hair done, your makeup, they put the tan on your body. Um, and, you know, you get to meet other women in, in, in the industry and you make lasting, beautiful friendships with other women because we're all about, you know, supporting each other and lifting each other up and, you know, cheering each other on. And uh, it really is an amazing sport. It really is. I would like to do another competition. I know that I have to really get into the mindset of it because it really is um, a commitment. You know, it's not, you know, it's giving up a lot of things in the short term for the goal that you have at the end, which could mean not going out to have meals with your friends, you know, not drinking alcohol or whatever the case may be, because you're committed to sticking with your plan so that you can look your best when you get on stage. So, yes. Well, Cheryl says Sandra looks beautifully buff. Do people attend these competitions? Is it like open to the public? Yes, absolutely. Um, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Um, yes, you can have your family. That, like I had a whole cheering section because I thought, you know, I don't know if I'm going to do this again. And I want to make sure all of my friends are there. Um, but yes, it's open to the public. Anybody can go and, and you know, support and see. And, and that was what I had done um, a couple of years ago when I was having the idea that I wanted to challenge myself and that I wanted to be in the best shape of my life at the age of 50. And I knew that I needed to commit to something bigger than I ever had committed to before. I thought once I sign up for that competition, that's it. It's go time. Like it, my mindset has to be totally focused on what is the end goal. And that is what, you know, keeps you going every day to get into the gym and to, you know, work out and uh, know that, you, you know, you, you're not going to be able to get on stage unless you put the work in. So, yes, you can have family members there, friends um, cheering you on. That's the best. The absolute best. They don't really televise these, do they? Because I've never seen one. I mean, I've seen beauty pageants. Yeah, you know, probably I, I think they do. It's uh, and some of the really big, big shows. But I don't know if it's really so much on mainstream other than like, you know, you have Mr. Olympia, which is like one of the biggest ones. You, you think of like Arnold Schwarzenegger, I think, was like a Mr. Olympia. I don't know how many how many years in a row. But those are the really big, big shows when they become professional. Um, you know, there's a little bit more exposure, but there's a lot of shows that are happening all year long. Um, a lot of smaller shows. And then there's different categories of shows like I did IFBB, which is the International Federation of bodybuilding. And then there's the, uh, I think it's NPC and you know, I'm still not, you know, totally educated on all the different, um, types of shows that there are, but I'm really excited because March of 2023 is going to be the second annual vegan bodybuilding competition. That's going to be here in South Florida. And the show is going to be all vegans. So that is going to be an amazing show to see. Nice. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. And then you get to see uh, what the pizza and the cheese looks like. And then we'll dress it with all of our fresh greens. Um, and then I like to put just a little bit of, you know, extra virgin olive oil along the top. I, put, I do a little bit of a balsamic glaze. And it is mwah, delish. So do, you, so do you eat differently when you're training for a show? Then oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, really? So, well, I mean, of course, I'm still plant based, 100% vegan. Um, it's a lot of meal planning and a lot of eating the same thing over and over. <laughs> so, you know, it was a lot of tofu, a lot of lentils, um, some rice, lots of, you know, veggies, broccoli, um, uh, smoothies, you know. And I did, you know, I'm not a huge protein powder person. Um, but I did, you know, when I was doing the competition, because when you are trying to build muscle, then of course you do need to know how much protein you're getting. Cause normally I don't count calories. I don't count macros. I eat the rainbow. I eat a little bit of everything and I know I don't worry about it, but when you are training for a competition and you are, you know, 
have a goal in mind, you have to really have your, your macros specifically laid out for you. And that's what a coach will help you do um, based on what the goal is for you and what you need to achieve for show day. But it's a lot of meal planning and your macros will change, you know, throughout the, the, the months that you're training. Um, and so your food will change, but it was definitely, you know, a lot of uh, tempeh, tofu, um, lots of greens, lots of broccoli, I loved lentils. So I ate a lot, a lot of lentils. And then I supplemented with protein, protein shakes, you know, that would be in between. I was eating six meals a day. I was drinking a gallon of water every day. So I'd be like starting my day with all these bags of food. Cause you know, I'd be eating, like I said, six small meals a day and, um, you know, sweet potatoes, you know, I wasn't drinking like any coffee. I was drinking I said, almost a gallon of water every day. And then as you get closer to competition then things change a little bit. Wow. Okay, I think we are good to go. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to move this over so that you all can see what this looks like. Well, it's a good thing you're three hours ahead of me because you can have this for dinner now. Yes, exactly. So this, I don't know if you can see, the cheese has now melted. Wow. That and looks like a restaurant quality pizza. I'm telling you, it is amazing. This is really hot, so I got to be careful. All right. So, so now that we have all that, I like to add my greens on top. So let me move this over so you guys can see. So first, I will put um, some of my fresh organic arugula love arugula. I love the bite that it has. Now, if you wanted to add more cheese and put it back in, you can. Um, I just put enough to, you know, kind of cover the pizza up. And then I'm just gonna, these greens will wilt on their own. They'll get softer as they, because of course the pizza is really, really hot. Then I'm gonna, I like to just have some, um, some fresh cherry tomatoes. Again, I love color. I think I'm going to put some more greens here. I'm always trying to get greens in any way that I can, uh, whether it's in my smoothies, whether it's, you know, in my food, having a side salad. Okay, then I'm going to put some of the microgreens. I'm going to put a little bit all the way around. You know what they say, by any greens necessary. I'm sorry, what was that? By any greens necessary. Yes. Hey, I want to read you a comment from Melissa. I took Sandra's 21 day challenge and loved it. I went completely vegan. Just saying thank you. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for being here live, Alyssa. That's awesome. Yes, it is a, a fun challenge that I do. Um, it's a 21 day interactive challenge with me where they get to cook in the kitchen, uh, twice a week. We have a, a coaching call. We have a fun, a fun challenge. They get to win prizes and it's a lot of fun. Okay. What else have we got? We're going to put in, uh, we're going to put some fresh, um, avocado and we're going to make it look pretty because you know, we, we see food and we generally eat with our eyes first, right? We see something, we go, wow, that looks amazing. Um, so we got to make it look pretty. Then we have uh, some fresh basil. So I'm going to put a nice little basil here and then I'm going to put some basil in between. Can you all see this? Let me move this over. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing here. All right, we're gonna have our basil in between each of the avocado slices. Okay, we've got our greens here. Okay, I think we've added all of our, all of our greens. Then I'm gonna just take, oh, I know, I like to add a little Italian seasoning. I'm gonna take just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. If you're oil-free, that's fine. You can, you can skip this, but I like to put a little bit, this is actually, this is done. What about balsamic vinegar? 
Yes, you can do balsamic. I'm actually going to do a balsamic glaze. I love this Trader Joe's balsamic glaze. And then I just take it and just we're going to kind of do it like this. And then we're going to put a little bit of Italian seasonings on top. And there you have it. You have a beautiful, delicious pizza. Let's see. You guys, I'm going to hold this up, see if you can see it a little bit better here. <laughs> Ooh. Well, if you can eat that and look like you, I'm in. Look, at, yeah, I'm telling you, it is amazing. It's light. It's not heavy because it's an almond flour. The crust is super crispy. I have a little bit of the of the little a little bit of just a little extra crispy on the edges, and um, and that's it. You have to try this recipe. It really is delicious. It's healthy for you. I, I, it looks beautiful. And uh, it's no guilt, no guilt. So and people I, can customize toppings to, according exactly. to their preference. Right, oh, what you like. Jose wants to know, do you like pineapple on your pizza? Yeah, I do. I actually, I, I haven't had pineapple on my pizza in a while, but yeah, I do. I love pineapple. So maybe, yeah, maybe I'll have to put some pineapple on my next, on my next one. But yeah, yeah that's that it. truly is a work of art. And since you like balsamic glaze, you're probably going to like California balsamic vinegar, and you're going to be getting two free bottles sent to you just for being a guest on this show. And you'll be able to choose whatever flavors you like. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I am so grateful to you, um, Chef AJ, for um, having me on your show, for being able to you know share what I love to do, create easy, delicious plant-based recipes that are really, you know, don't take much time. It's good for you. It tastes great. And also, you know, I'm here to, like I said, encourage all of the women in their 40s and 50s that you get to love your skin, love the skin you're in, no matter what stage you are in your life and focus on the good and have gratitude every day. So thank you. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. 40s, 50s and beyond. That's right. 40s, 50s and beyond. Because and please you know, check out life- the Check out Sandra's book in the bundle and check out Sandra's website. And yeah, people want to stay in touch with you. I, we have all the links in the show notes and the recipe will be added to the show notes as soon as yes. possible. But what is your favorite way to interact with people? Yeah, so I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. So I'm at Coach Sandra Cotta on Instagram. You can message me there. You can follow me there. I, I post, you know, all of my recipes, all of my top tips to stay sexy, look great and feel good. Um, I'm on Facebook as well. I actually have a private free Facebook group uh, called uh, Healthy Women Over 40. Um, And I'm also starting a membership uh, group, Sexy on Plants After 40. Um, And uh, yeah, so there's lots of ways that I can support you. You can take a challenge. You can reach out to me. If there's anything that I can do to support you, please feel free to reach out. Well, thank you. It's so nice seeing you again. Let's not wait another four years. I know, definitely not. Thank you again. And have a wonderful holiday this week. Sending you all lots of love and hugs and we'll see you soon. Oh, you look, you're just getting better looking every time I see you. (laughs) Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you for the beautiful recipe demonstration. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow at an earlier time of 9 a.m. Pacific time for Thanksgiving. We are doing a multi-chef SOS free cook along. If you're on my mailing list, you've already got the ingredients. Hope to see you tomorrow, everyone. If I don't,